प्रेक्षकांक नमस्कार इष्टानो भलायकीच्या मॉडर्न युगातल्या कार्यावळीन तुमकां उर्बे भरीत येऊकार मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या खाशेल्या कार्यावळींनी तुम्ही ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर किडनी फेलियर काळजाचे दुयेस ह्या गंभीर दुयेसा विषयी माहिती जाणून घेतली तसे मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीचे उपचार कसे योग्य असा हे तुम्ही पळले तसेच पीडितांचे अनुभव तुम्ही ऐकले मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीचे सीईओ डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने सरांनी क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंटा वरवी या दुयेतींच्या जीवितात नॉर्मलसी कशी हाडली ते पळून मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या उपचारांची तुम्ही तुमका खात्री पटले असतील भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग या कार्यावळी वरवी खर दुयेसा संदर्भात तुमच्या गोय राज्यात जागृती वाढत असा आमका मोठ्या प्रमाणात मिळलेल्या तुमच्या प्रतिसादाक लागून हे सिद्ध जाता देखून भलायकीची काळजी घेऊपी ही कार्यावळ आम्ही पुढे सुरू दौरता आज तुमका मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीचे डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने कॅन्सर ह्या भयानक आणि खर दुयेसा विषयी मार्गदर्शन करतले कॅन्सरा खातीर जगात मरण येऊप्यांची संख्या नेटान वाढत असा अशा वेळार ह्या दुयेसा विषयी जागरूक असप खूप महत्वाचे कॅन्सर म्हणजे नक्की किती मनशाक कितल्या प्रकारचे कॅन्सर जाऊप शकता कॅन्सर कित्याक लागून जाता हे दुयेस कसे डिटेक्ट जाऊप शकता ताचे मात करपास नक्की किती करप गरजेचे कॅन्सर दुयेती विषयी कसली काळजी घेऊपची गरज असता मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या खासा उपचार पद्धतीन दुयेतींक कसलो फायदा जाता या सारखिल्या तसेच तुमच्या मनात येऊपी हेर प्रश्नांच्यो जापो तुमका या कार्यावळीन मेळटल्यो ही कार्यावळ म्हणजे समाजाची एका तरेन आरोग्यदायी सेवा म्हणल्यार चुकीचे थारचे ना डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने सरांच्या महत्वपूर्ण संशोधना खातीर कॅन्सरा कडेन कशे तरेन समर्थपणान तोंड देऊ शकता हे दुयेतींच्या प्रत्यक्ष अनुभवातल्या तुमका हंगा कळटले या दुयेसा बद्दल खूपशे गैरसमजे असतात पण ते पैस करपचो यत्न आम्ही हंगा करता तुमचं दर एक दुबाव पैस करपा खातीर ही कार्यावळ मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या यशस्वी उपचारांची माहिती दिता तर पळत रावात भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग इष्टानो या कार्यावळी वरवी जाऊपी जागृती तुम्ही समाजात हेरांकडे पावची असे आम्ही तुमका आवाहन करता एके भशेन हे आमचे सगळ्यांचे सामाजिक कर्तव्य तेन्ना लक्ष दियात आणि ऐकयात मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीची खासा कार्यावळ भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग द पॉप्युलेशन ऑफ अर्थ इज सेव्हन अरेब्स A human body has 70,000 Arab cells. Every cell contains DNA. When the DNA is disturbed, the cell starts growing tremendously, resulting in terrible disease of cancer. The 200 types of cancers can manifest themselves at any point in life, which may lead to untimely death. Every year, 1.5 crore new people are diagnosed with cancer. the patients break down physically as well as financially modern homeopathy is the best way of treatment that can successfully control cancer it can remove you from the clutches of cancer let us see how in the modern era of health modern homeopathy the safety of life hello i'm anushree karandekar and i welcome you all in this special program of modern era of health By using the modern homeopathy's curative line of treatment, many patients have overcome the deadly diseases and now lead a healthy and normal life. The credit for this goes to the research that goes behind modern homeopathy. We discuss about this all. For the past few episodes, we have been discussing the topic of cancer, and we are also seeing how effectively modern homeopathy is working against it. Let's talk about it today too. And for that, we have with us CEO of Modern Homeopathy, Dr. Vijay Kumar Mane sir. Sir, welcome to the show. Hello. So like I said earlier, we have chosen the sensitive topic of cancer. We have been discussing about it for the past few episodes. We saw few types of blood cancer. We also spoke about esophageal cancer. We have seen how effectively modern homeopathy is treating it. We have heard patients themselves and we have also seen how the patients are taking a step towards leading a very normal life. So now that we have discussed about that, I wanted to take the subject further. I wanted to talk about another type of cancer, cervical cancer, a cancer that's mostly seen in women. What will you tell us about that? Today we are going to talk about two types of cancers. the cervical cancer and the ovarian cancer hmm. ovaries the organ carrying eggs we shall talk about both of them okay okay the cervical cancer is seen most oftenly after the mid age like say about uh, post 40 years okay more specifically it occurs after the menopausal period that cervical cancer okay and ovarian cancer happens in the mid age post 35 hmm it may occur in any woman but i have treated patients that were young way younger actually 
ovarian cancer has manifested itself in women from from say 18 to 20 to 35 years of age are observed oh now when we talk about cervical cancer or the ovarian cancer are women supposed to take any specific care for the same i mean if there's something we can do like they say prevention is better than cure so is there a way we women can avoid this type of cancer before that let's have a look at its reasons if we look at the reasons it says that cervical cancer is more common in unmarried women okay okay secondly this cancer is common in women who have multiple sexual partners and it is also common in women who use excessive contraceptive pills okay, okay. same is the case with ovarian cancer all the three reasons apply here too not marrying is also one reason or even or late even marriage late or marriage mm. is a main reason for that okay. see now yeah. all these things are in our hands like for unmarried women they should get married rather than late marriages marry at the right age one should avoid use of contraceptive pills and avoid having multiple sexual partners too now these precautions can be easily taken if you do this mm -hmm. you might be able to prevent this type of cancer for sure sure like you said the chances of having this type of cancer is high with multiple sexual partners or multiple pregnancies now if you look at today's lifestyle rather today's life structure the live-in relation pattern has increased a lot so the things that you just said are mainly rather commonly seen in metro cities how do women go we'll about see it that. i mean it's not easy uh, like you said that one should avoid contraceptive pills as much as possible or one should not have multiple sexual partners so if you think about it this way how do we actually take care about the entire situation how do we deal with it now if i have to give answer to your question i will tell it bit differently sure sure gautam buddha tells us what he said about a mid path he says don't go too left neither too right go straight midway is the better option neutral yeah take this midway you will find the answers find solutions to your problems automatically sure 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 we get it you have tried to give a good message through this but if we look at this seriously obviously considering what you just said like you told us the reasons but apart from that how do women actually judge symptoms of this like if we talk about breast cancer then self examination is the best option that they have today and the women are aware of this but how do you think women should judge this type of cancer i mean how do they know that there's a possibility of them having this type of cancer first of all after the age of 35 one should get regular health checkup okay this is first thing secondly if any abnormal symptoms are seen correct which means what we call as mid period spotting means if you are bleeding between two menstrual cycles okay. or you have menstrual irregularities mm -hmm. see we are talking about cervical cancer yes cancer yes so if this is the case if pains are there or most of the time post coital bleeding which means bleeding post sexual intercourse if it pains after the sexual intercourse if the opening of the uterus or the vaginal area pains mm -hmm. then you should take it very seriously mm. the patient needs to take it seriously and one should get all medical examinations done is what i feel you spoke about medical examinations so do we need to undergo similar tests for these types of cancers too the tests are always similar one you should get a ct scan done or let's say even you can detect a cervical cancer in sonography too okay okay but ct scan is better okay okay then there is a pap smear test it's where they take a smear of the vagina or the opening of the uterus at times we can see cancerous cells here too okay thirdly you can go for ct scan and fourth option is biopsy hmm. through these tests we can find a clear picture what we just spoke was for cervical cancer now if we talk about the ovarian cancer it is not diagnosed in the early stage true true till the tumor isn't big enough mm -hmm. we cannot determine that rather the patient too cannot conclude that she might have such kind of cancer or tumor what happens mostly is that it's pretty common in all cancers diagnosis of the cancer is pretty late exactly mm. as we do not get regular medical checkups done well why would a regular person think about it if there are true, hardly true, true. any symptoms that's right so basically the diagnosis is always late now in ovarian cancer the swelling on the stomach very often the disease goes in later stage also the patient suffers from ascites, ascites that's yes. the main symptom of ovarian cancer in case of ascites the disease has generally spread it spread everywhere it has spread in omentum region or it spreads in peritoneum section true 
So the swelling on the stomach, water, well, it's pretty late by then. But that's when you understand that I have ovarian cancer. Mm. And secondly, the pain in that region. Apart from that, the vague symptoms like vomiting, loose stools, or abdominal discomfort. This too should help us to understand what's going on. True. I mean, if we repeatedly see these vague symptoms, or at times bleeding too, most menopausal bleeding, or uh, spotting between periods. If these things arise. we can say that they may be symptoms of ovarian cancer at time weight loss and not feeling hungry now we see this is a common symptom in all cancer True, it's loss of it's appetite common. not feeling hungry and weight, and weight loss. loss these are common symptoms we have looked at the symptoms and also its test like i said i want to discuss with you about cervical cancer as well as the ovarian cancer we also have patients who will share their experience but after the break give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance 7038 8338881 and 7038833882 for counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy contact our centers at dadar karwa dhankavdi pimpri chinswad mapsa madgaon nashik aurangabad kolhapur nanded nagpur and solapur Contact numbers nine seven three zero three three nine zero zero nine and nine three seven two seven two eight zero zero nine. Toll free number one eight zero zero one two one eight zero zero nine. Website modernhomeopathy dot co dot in. Email ID info at modernhomeopathy dot co dot in and kidney cure clinic. at gmail.com mi stri ahe आणि स्त्री असते भविष्य काळ कुटुंबाचा समाजाचा देशाचा तिचं आरोग्य म्हणूनच महत्वाचं परंतु दुर्दैवानं ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर हा गंभीर आजार आपल्या देशातील महिलांना वेगाने गाठत आहे त्यांचं करिअर जीवन उद्ध्वस्त करीत आहे आपल्या सर्वांना हे थांबवायचं आहे आणि आपण हे थांबवू शकतो मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या सहाय्यानं मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी द क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट Welcome you all to Modern Era of Health post this break. We are discussing about cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. We will now listen to the experience of a patient who fought this type of cancer. Due to personal reasons, the identity of our patient will not be disclosed. Um I was diagnosed with cervical cancer. Before that I had a lot of trouble with my menstrual cycle. My age was um, 49. I was suffering a lot. My relatives told me that uh, this might be due to menopause. Then there was allergic reactions. I don't know if I had eaten anything wrong. Uh, but I had uh, blackish spots and itchiness. So I visited a skin specialist. I took her treatment for a couple of times, but it never got better. Then I realized that a tumor had uh, descended down my vaginal area. So I immediately went to a gynec. After checkup, she told me she told me immediately to get biopsy done. I went under a blood test and few other tests. All tests and reports determined that it was a cervical cancer. So it was suggested that I should immediately go for chemotherapy. So we were thinking about what we could do because uh, we had heard that chemotherapy is very painful. In March 2015 my wife was diagnosed with cervical and ovarian cancer then the doctor who was treating her had suggested us to go for a chemo later followed by operation but by then i had heard sir's interview on sam tv so we decided to um, first visit uh, mane sir take homeopathy for a month undergo his line of treatment and if uh, the treatment is going good uh, then we can say no to the chemotherapy this was my intent when i first came to visit mane sir 
then my husband suggested that we should take treatment from dr vijay kumar mane Uh, sir really supported me and uh, he told me that whatever this is it will be all clear by the end of the year i said to sir uh, that i need to know that your medicines are working but uh, sir said okay get a sonography done after a month and then you will realize but after my wife started taking the medicines uh, say about uh, 10 15 days later i could see the positiveness in her just in 10 15 days so when we took the tests after a month uh, i could see the cancer reduce So I showed the reports to the doctor and he told me that we are on the right track. It was simply unbelievable that just in a span of 2 months the tumor had reduced so fast. But I was still doing all my chores at home regularly because uh, I had uh, college going kids their timings and all but I rested well and followed what doctor had told me to take the medicines every 2 hours uh, that two in liquid form. I felt good. Rather I felt way better. I was happy chemotherapy wasn't required. I mean uh, homeopathy is also a very good option. I mean I had heard about it but I never thought that it would be so effective in the treatment of such a big disease. And we hear people suffering from cancer. Why don't they turn to homeopathy? That's something I started feeling now. My wife had tumors in the cervix as well as ovaries. The tumor in the cervix completely vanished with the medications. The tumor was four by four by four centimeters. It completely vanished, and the tumor in the ovary, which was ten by nine by eight centimeters, according to the latest sonography reports, uh, now it only measures four centimeters by three centimeters by three centimeters. And doctor says that this tumor will go with further medication too. My wife had excellent results uh, with this homeopathy. I feel that every other patient. who uh, suffers from uh, cancer uh, should visit our doctor uh, so that they too can experience the benefits of this treatment uh, the way we did if you go by the allopathic treatment and do the chemo and go for a surgery well then it's very hard for the patient uh, the patient suffers a lot but uh, dr mani's medicines do not cause any pain to the patient uh, the patient can take it easily just sitting at home and can lead a normal life i can tell by my wife's experience uh, one can do all of his or her everyday chores too uh, the patient does not need to go out anywhere uh, and the patient faces no trouble now my wife leads a very normal life in the bite that we just saw we could see how miraculously there was a positive effect of modern homeopathy in the condition of the survivor. Michael and ovarian cancer of the patient we are going to take a review of the same through patient's reports on 18th march 2015 post excruciating pain in the stomach the experts checked the patient according to the reports the patient was diagnosed with cervical as well as ovarian cancerous tumors a cervical cancer tumor was 3.9 4.5 3.9 cm while her ovarian cancer tumor was 9.4 8.5 9.5 cm at that time she had swelling on her stomach loss of appetite weakness and immense pain the patient could not move around she was completely bedridden she was given options of surgery radiation and chemotherapy but she turned her back to these options and started undergoing modern homeopathy treatment she could immediately see the results of modern homeopathy the tests done on 20th april 2015 showed reduction in the size of cancerous tumors her cervical cancer tumor reduced to 4.5 3.4 cm while her ovarian cancer tumor was 9.4 7.8 5.1 cm her pain was relieved and she was not bedridden anymore she could move around normally the reports done on 19th may 2015 showed immense reduction in tumor sizes her cervical cancer tumor was now 3.2 2.9 cm while her ovarian cancer tumor was 6 4.4 and 4 cm in the next 4 months her cervical tumor vanished completely the patient gained back her confidence plus there was a great improvement in patient's general health she continued with modern homeopathy over the next year the cancer tumor reduced by 99% the reports done on 8th february 2016 proved this today the patient leads a very normal life she now does not require chemotherapy radiation or surgery this was possible without any side effects 
only due to modern homeopathy. We have just heard the patient speak. We have seen her reports. We have literally seen how treatment of modern homeopathy has pushed back the illness of this patient. What exactly was this case and how did modern homeopathy help her with this? We will discuss this with sir in detail. But before that, it's time for a break. Give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance. 7038833881 and 7038833882. For counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy, contact our centers at Dadar, Karwa, Dhankavdi, Pimpri Chinswat, Mapsa, Madgaon, Nashik, Aurangabad, Kolhapur, Nanded, Nagpur and Solapur. Contact numbers 9730-339-009 and 9372-728-009. Toll free number 1800-121-8009. Website modernhomeopathy.co.in Email ID info at modernhomeopathy.co.in and kidneycureclinic at gmail.com Janmani Mrutyu या दोन बिंदूत मधील अंतर मंजे जीवन होय। एका बिंदू कडून दुसऱ्या बिंदू कडे मार्गक्रमण करत असताना मनुष्य आपले ध्येयनिष्ठ जीवन जगत असतो जीवनाच्या या प्रवासात आजार रूपे अडथळे निर्माण होतच असतात हेच अडथळे दूर करून जीवनगती निर्धोक राखण्यासाठी आधार देत मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी चला तर मग जाणून घेऊया मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी I welcome you all in the special program of Modern Era of Health post this break. So before we went on break, the experience that we heard, well the patient had both types of cancers and you treated them with homeopathy and the results we saw post treatment, we saw the reports, there has been immense improvement in it. What will you tell us about it? How challenging was this case for you? Let's talk from the beginning. Cervical cancer and ovarian cancer for these both cancers, hmm. what treatment is available in conventional line of treatment? We'll see that. In the cervical cancer, the patient is generally treated with radiation. Okay. The radiation gives some survival period to the cancer patient. True, true. Or it is also seen that post-radiation, the disease starts spreading in the surrounding area. Okay. Taking radiation is rather painful. 30 to 33 radiations are given or at times 35 radiations are given. Brachytherapy is also given. It is a strong radiation. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. This is very painful to patient, these radiations. Now, if we look in the ovarian cancer, what happens here? The element which is known as True. CA125 mm -hmm. shoots up. Yes. The level of CA125 is very high. This is first thing. Secondly, water starts accumulating yes. in the stomach. Yes. It swells. Vomiting and other abrupt symptoms True. are seen. Here in the conventional line of treatment, the solution is to take chemotherapy, reduce the size of the tumor, and then opt for the surgery. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, hysterosalpingo of rectomy, a surgery that removes the uterus, ovaries, and fallopian It's tubes. removed, yes. Now, patients find this treatment painful, expensive, and troublesome. We do not opt for any such ways in our line of treatment, oh. neither in ovarian cancer nor in cervical cancer. True. The patient whose bite we just saw, this patient, had both cancers, true, cervical true, true. cancer as well as ovarian Plus cancer. Plus ovarian, yes. The size of cervix cancer was 3.9 cm mm -hmm. into 4.6 cm into 3.9 cm. Mm. That's how big tumor it that was. That was big, yeah. The ovarian cancer was 9.4 cm into 8.5 cm into 9.5 cm. That's really big tumor. That's 761 cubic centimeter of cancer tumor, right? Approximately after three months of our treatment, the patient felt better from first month of itself. True. The reports post three months of the treatment shows that the tumor of cervix was complete. Post three months of the treatment shows that the tumor of cervix was completely vanished. Oh my God, nice. And now post seven months of treatment, we saw 
42 cubic centimeter of tumor still remains in ovaries. It's gone, yeah. Cervix tumor is vanished. Mm. Now, when the patient first came to us, well, in reality, the patient did not come and did not come to us. Her husband came to us. You can even watch it in the interview. He had told us then that the patient is bedridden and cannot even get up because of the swelling on the stomach. And she can't True. walk. The patient was leading an unbearable life. That is what we were told. Hmm. They got the reports, we saw the reports, then we started the medicines. And dramatically, True. after one and a half months treatment, patient started walking. Nice, nice. By the end of second month, she could go to the market. Great, great. She said so in the interview yes, also. Yes, she said that. And today she lives a very normal life. We saw that the tumor, we saw that the tumor has reduced so much. And in coming months, it, it will, will reduce. reduce. Cervix cancer has vanished already. And this is difference between conventional treatment and modern homeopathy treatment. And I can tell this with immense pride Definitely. that even in such cases, without hospitalization, without chemotherapy, without without surgery, we are able to do it. Yes, this was a huge experience and this was indeed a very critical case. But just with homeopathy treatment, like you said earlier, she was able to lead a completely normal life. I, I forgot to tell you one thing. Yes, the patient please. was suffering from ascites. Means she has yes, water in her water. stomach. Even that water was gone in month or two. She started walking. True. This is a sign that the water in stomach is no more after two so months of treatment. So you did not have to remove it. We did not have to remove it without chemotherapy, radiation, surgery. We did it. And I think it's not wrong to say that that is the winning stroke of modern homeopathy. We're talking about cancer. We spoke about cervical cancer. And I also want to talk to you about uterine cancer. But today you guided us so well on this topic. And for that, thank you. Thank you. Give a missed call on the numbers displayed below for advice and guidance. 7038-833881 and 7038-833882. For counseling and guidance regarding modern homeopathy, contact our centers at Dadar, Karwa, Dhankavdi, Pimpri Chinswat, Mapsa, Madgao, Nashik, Aurangabad, Kolhapur, Nanded, Nagpur and Solapur. Contact numbers 9730-339-009 and 9372-728-009 Toll free number 1-800-121-8009 Website modernhomeopathy.co.in Email ID info at modernhomeopathy.co.in and kidneycureclinic at gmail.com स्त्री आहे आणि स्त्री असते भविष्यकाळ कुटुंबाचा समाजाचा देशाचा तिचं आरोग्य म्हणूनच महत्वाचं परंतु दुर्दैवानं ब्रेस्ट कॅन्सर हा गंभीर आजार आपल्या देशातील महिलांना वेगाने गाठत आहे त्यांचं करिअर जीवन उद्ध्वस्त करीत आहे आपल्या सर्वांना हे थांबवायचं आहे आणि आपण हे थांबवू शकतो मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीच्या सहाय्यानं मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी द क्युरेटिव्ह लाईन ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथी चे सीईओ डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने हे कॅन्सर दुयेसाचे केलेले मार्गदर्शन तुम्ही पळले इश्रानो भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग या कार्यावळीन फुडल्या भागात तुमका डॉक्टर विजय कुमार माने कॅन्सर दुयेसाचे अनेकय मार्गदर्शन करतले त्यांना खर दुयेस आणि ताचे वेळे मॉडर्न होमिओपॅथीचे उपचार हे खातीर पळत रावात भलायकीचे मॉडर्न युग